What's going on, folks, and welcome to another Scum Absolute Beginner's Guide. We're on number eight now. Now, it has been months and months since I made my last one, but now we're 2021. I am fully scheduled, and every Thursday, we are going to be getting a episode. So that's once a week, because I do seven or eight streams a week, sometimes more. So we're going we're gonna to be keeping these down to a minimum for once a week, and we've got tons of content to do on this, ladies and gents. Now, for the purpose of this next part that I'm going to show you here, um, I do have God Mode set because I want to show you guys something. So, I have had a PC reset, complete reset of my PC last year, which means I lost my single player series, uh, my tutorials like this. So, you guys will guarantee learn a few things in every video that you watch, and... Uh, just to say, I want to thank you guys for all your support as well, because I really didn't expect these to kick off, and a lot of people have been getting a lot out of it. So uh, thank you very much for all the kind comments. I do see every single one of them. I know I can't reply to every single one, because it would take forever. So I do like to do my thanks in the videos. So what I've done here, um, let me just whack that on. So I've got a chest, and I've got a bed. Uh, I've got a shelter. Now in this, so to speak series as we are continuing here on episode 8 we're going to be looting this town so if i press m brings up the map you can see my red marker is over here so we're going to be working around this area and then working out and doing different things as well but firstly there has been some major major updates with scum now i'm not going to go through all of them because this isn't that kind of video but i just wanted to throw it out there that there has been a lot of updates like wolves and stuff and base building uh, especially and with this character that I build, which is advanced engineering and I think basic or medium survival, um, we can do a lot of stuff here because I wanted to build a base in my last episode as well because we can do so much more with that. And with 0 0.5 just around the corner, there's a lot coming to the game, guys. There's another nine of these big squares coming, which is going to make this map absolutely huge. So we've got another nine new sectors. Now, just very quickly, the base building has changed. So... I want to show you something very quickly. Now, I do have God Mode for this because I'm going to build this very quickly. But when we actually go in and start looting the town, probably in the next episode, I want to... I'm going to be turning God Mode off and we're going to play completely legit. But for the sake of this episode, I want to show you something. So what you do, if you go in, into base building here, you can see there's only one wooden wall. And you're probably sitting there like, wait a minute, why can't I upgrade? So what you do is you click on that wooden wall and... You can scroll wheel, use your scroll wheel, and when you're happy with the position it's in, usually it snaps, I'll show that in a sec. Then tap F, and then just walk along with it, drag it along, and usually you can have a friend or something that will be able to line it up if you want to have it all perfect. Now you can see there's an arrow here, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make another one right here as well. And I'm going to have the arrow the other way because I want to show you exactly what these arrows do. Now, even as a, even for a solo player, um, these you can be very handy. You know, a lot of solo players tend to build. So you can see these arrows are the same way. Now, if I hold F and click flip, you can see now the arrows go in the other way. And this is why. So obviously, you do have to put the items in yourself. Um, but I'm going to be using God Mode for the purpose of this one. So if I hold F over the top of it, you can upgrade the wall. Only if your engineering is high enough. Um, so you can see what you need for this now. Um, and if you are watching my streams, the scum streams, you will see that we've actually built a base. And it took us a couple of days to build a really, really, you know, good base. Whether it's probably been raided by now, I don't know. <laughs> so if we hold F, you can see the barbed wire is on the outside. So that's the way the arrow was facing. So if you, whatever way the outside of the base is, that's the way you want the arrow to be. So this is obviously the outside. Oh no, let's flip that again. So I'm going to fill that in. And then we're going to hold F, upgrade, F again. And you can see that that arrow is actually quite important. Because you wouldn't want the barbed wire on the inside. Because this can stop people jumping over or, or whatever. So the higher your engineering skill the taller your walls are going to be. And they're going to be a good height, you know, so people can't really jump over. Um, now, if we hold F over again, now because I have advanced engineering, you can see that I can upgrade one more time. Tap F again. We have now have metal. 
And as you can see, this is the health points uh, for this wall. So 1325. On the wooden, it's 175. If I upgrade it to barbed wire, it's 525. If I upgrade it to metal, it's 875. Now, obviously, this wall is a bit longer, so it's probably is better protected, so to speak. Um, as you can see here. So let me just upgrade this one here. And you can see there. And this is very important to know because this can make a big difference to your base being raided. Um, and have just having a well-built base as well. And you can do this to different things. Like um, you can make a doorway like this. And if you just... Obviously, I'm going to tap F over it. Upgrade it. You can see the barbed wire as well. This side. So make sure you got it the right way. And if I upgrade it again, it goes to metal. So this is a huge thing with this game right now. Base building is a big part of Scum, even though it wasn't intended to. Um, but that's just something I wanted to let you guys know. Also, at the same time, for those ninjas out there, um, we have obviously the bows. But now we have the crossbows, and these are absolutely lethal. So as we go through this series again, I want to show you... Um, in fact, I'm going to make one of these now, but I'm going to make I'm going to make this one completely legit. Um, so if I press 2... Right, let's cut down this tree, because we need... What do we need for this? I think it was three long sticks, some rope, um, a rag, and obviously my axe. So we're going to be doing that here. But I'm very looking forward to doing this. I'm very looking forward to this series because I like to take my time with these ones because it's very important for you guys to, to learn. So when you drop, when you cut down a tree, it will drop several logs and it will drop a bunch of sticks. Now, chop these sticks up and it will give you an absolute ton of sticks, large sticks, um, and it will give you small sticks as well. Now, if you're using, obviously, we're currently using, here's a big tip here, stone axe right there. Um, this will give me a load of sticks when I cut things up. If you're using a stone knife, which is really, you know, small and it, it's not very durable, you won't cut as many sticks up. Now, if I cut this up with a, a proper knife or an actual axe, like a metal axe, um, this would be a lot better. Um, and I would get more sticks out of it. And that goes for trees, bushes... Um, and stuff like that as well. So make sure that you do have a decent uh, a decent um, tool for that. Now, just just throwing this out there, ladies and gents. If you do have any anything you specifically want to see in these vid tip videos, then please don't forget to comment down below. I'd really appreciate that because it also gives me ideas um, as well. Don't get me wrong. I've got a ton of ideas and I'm not rushing these. I'm not going to rush these in any way. Uh, shape or form so today we're going to be learning a few different things obviously we're just about to make the improvised um, crossbow and the new base building system which is when you upgrade and I'll show you how to make a bunk bed in a minute as well which is all a part of the new upgrading system so this was in a patch a little while ago and has changed everything since our last survival uh, guide which was obviously ep episode 7 um, so if you can't find something that you're that you're trying to find, by the way, so I'm trying to find these sticks, um, which I can't really find right now. Well, they are there actually. I found them, but let's just say I can't find them. Just press tab, and just walk around until they pop up in vicinity, um, and it's a lot easier to find that way. So, so we just need to chop these up, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a rag. And that should be it, I think. So I'm hoping to get two long sticks out of this. So I've got one here in my inventory here. Um, and, yep, I did. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, so let me cut these into rags. And like I said, I want to keep these videos down to around 10 minutes, guys. So if you didn't hear what you wanted to hear in this video, uh, the next one you will. So the next video will be... This is more of an introduction today. Oh, look, there we go. We can now craft... Uh, the improvised crossbow, but we're not going to have any bolts. And I'm going to show you how to make them in the next episode, because you do need to find feathers uh, for them. So, if we have a quick look here, you can see we have the improvised crossbow. Now, the, 
Now, the Blackhawk crossbow is amazing. So wait until you see them, guys. Um, so what we're going to do on the next episode, I'm going to delete these after. Or um, I'm going to knock these down. And then on the next episode, we're going to turn God Mode off. Seeing as I only wanted to show you these. And we're going to... We're going to loot and play these guides as as we do. And I'm going to give you some tips along the way. But we're going to start building a base. This is the base I'm going to be building here. And I'm going to throw some tips your way as well. Now, it's completely subjective. Everyone does things differently. But I'm, I'm here to teach you guys the basics of the game. And how to do this. And go from A to B to C. To progress your character so thank you very much for checking out the video guys and as always if you haven't subscribed please do and uh, turn notifications on if you want to keep up with these every Thursday we're going to be having an episode um, with our absolute beginners guides so with that being said guys stay safe have a lovely week and I'll catch you on all of the streams that we do during the week as well so stay safe and take care peace out